Thirdly, they're very easy to apply for, and they are. You can fill out a form online, you're going to get matched with a credit card, and very, very quickly, you'll have that money available to you, probably within a couple of days. And because, that's basically because they are completely unsecured credit, and therefore, accessing it is completely instant. So there's lots and lots of positives here, but I think the main ones to take away, to be honest, is the chargeback ability. The fact that you have this additional protection as a consumer when you're buying things. It allows you to dispute those transactions. So for me, I use my credit cards a lot for that reason whenever I'm making big purchases. And you'll see that I haven't got a big credit card balance because I don't make a lot of big purchases. So there's no need for me to be using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, my cards allow me to have points. There's lots of different incentives for me to use them. But it's important to say that I just don't spend that much money, to be honest. I do. My lifestyle is not that expensive. A lot of the stuff that we buy, like the food and all that sort of stuff, just comes out the joint account. It's nice and straightforward. Now on to the negatives, and I think this is the bit where everybody just needs to take a deep breath and go, is this right for me? Because nobody signs up to a credit card not knowing the positives and thinking, do you know what I want to do? I want to get myself into loads of debt for decades that I'll never be able to get out of. That's probably the most expensive debt I can do. That sounds like a great idea. I promise you, even the people with big balances that never clear it, that was not the intention. It's never the intention. So, the average APR in the UK at the moment is 21.49%. And as I said, I've been finding them 40%, 50%, huge APRs. Now, this can be a real debt trap. And if you are somebody who cannot delay debt gratification, it's very easy to just put that extra tank of fuel on the credit card, to put that extra repair on the credit card, to put those clothes that you couldn't really afford on the credit card. And now you've got a thousand pound debt that otherwise you wouldn't have racked up. I think it's incredibly important that we understand we are humans and human nature, my second negative one here, after the fact that the APR is so large, human nature really does take over. And as I said, I don't believe that anybody who's in perpetual credit card debt, where they just roll it over, roll it over, pay the minimum, pay the minimum, and just pay a huge amount of interest for the rest of their life, I don't believe anybody got into that position intentionally. I believe they all got into it accidentally. And that is why my third negative on here is just it's a massive trap for the wrong people. Now, I'm capable of using credit cards incredibly responsible, and maybe you are as well. And if you are, they're fantastic for these reasons. If you are not capable of using them responsibly, if you would buy that extra pair of trainers because you have this balance available to you, if you would just you know, pay for an extra whatever it is, a holiday or whatever you think that you deserve because you have this balance and you're going to get into perpetual debt, you need to stay away from them like the plague in my opinion. They are incredibly dangerous because they are incredibly easy to get. And once you've got them, the balances can be big. As you saw on mine. I've got 14,500 available to me on one. I've got 9,000 on another. One of my business cards has a credit limit of 50,000. I can rack up like 70,000 pounds worth of debt like that really quickly. So you've got to be really careful not to do that. So I think for the right people, my personal opinion is they're fantastic tools. For the wrong people, they are the biggest trap and you should stay clear of them. So guys, I hope that this has been informative. I hope it gives you some information for you to make clearer financial decisions for yourself to improve your investing ability. And hopefully, if you're somebody who would get stuck in debt, you now won't, and you'll be able to invest that money rather than paying it in interest. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.